Uh, Shalom, Akim. First and foremost, we want to give all praise to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Kafadash. Double honor to our elder apostle and elder bishop, Great Millstone, who still the well. Peace bless to the elect. All right, the house of David. All right, my brother Kazaki Allah, to my writers. Yashua Maka. Yashua. All right. And what we're going to go to today, you know, is another, all right, <clears throat> account. Okay, a dialogue between, you know, Yahweh Shai and the wicked scribes and Pharisees, man. And one thing about it, what we have to understand, Yahweh Shai, you know, he pretty much set the blueprint of us becoming sons and joint heirs. Okay, and we're going to go into these things, man. You know, it's in the spirit. You know, it's, cri it's critical that we understand, you know, what we're becoming, you know, because that gives us, okay, a direction on how we should be moving. Okay, so we're going to get that account. Let's get that in St. John 8 and um, 34. The book of St. John, chapter 8, verse 34. Yahweh Shai answered them, Verily, verily I say unto you, whosoever committeth sin is the servant of sin. Yeah. Matter of fact, start in like 33. Okay. Right, so. St. John chapter 8, verse 33. They answered him, We be Abraham's seed, and were never in bondage to any man. Yep. Go ahead. How sayest thou, ye shall be made free? Yep, because they wasn't understanding, you know, the context of how we shot. See, a lot of times with the wicked scribes and Pharisees, they wasn't given, okay, their spiritual eyesight. So they couldn't understand, you know, the analogies that Yahweh Shah was using. You know, Yahweh Shah is going to go into it. Go ahead. Yahweh Shah answered them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, whosoever committed sin is the servant of sin. Mm -hmm. And the servant abideth not in the house forever, but the son abideth forever. And I want to read that in NLT. This is St. John 8 and 35. It said, A slave is not a permanent member of a family, but a son is a part of the family forever. Okay? So Yahweh shot. All right, he was taking us from being uh, classified as servants to being sons. Okay, he was showing us the blueprint. He was showing us the way. He was showing us what the Most High required of us as sons. Okay, and yeah, what what did what did the uh, how shall I have the record of when you get uh, let's get Matthew three and um, I want to say sixteen. Yeah, let's get that. Yeah, Matthew three and sixteen. The gospel according to St. Matthew chapter 3, verse 16. Yep. And Yahweh Shai, when he was baptized, went up straightway out of the water. And lo, the heavens were opened unto him, and he saw the spirit of the heavenly father descending like a dove and lighting upon him. Okay, Yahweh Shai being anointed with that spirit, you know, before his ministry. Go ahead. And lo, a voice from heaven yep. saying, This is my beloved son. And whom I am well pleased. This is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. Okay? So Yahweh Shah was, was here to teach us how to be pleasing unto the Heavenly Father, man. Okay? So now let's get that in St. John 15 and 14 because he had to report that he was well pleasing unto the Father. This is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. And we're fighting for that same report. Okay? St. John chapter 15, verse 14. Yep. Ye are my friends. Yep. If ye do whatsoever I command you. Showing you that this comes with conditions. There's a standard, you know, that we must abide by. Okay? Going out to the highways and byways, treating our brothers and ourselves, you know, teaching sound doctrine. Okay? Watching. <laughs> okay? You know, there's a standard that comes with this. Okay? Go ahead. Henceforth I call you not servants, for the servant knoweth not what his Lord doeth. Mm -hmm. But I have called you friends. Yep. For all things that I have heard of my father, I have made known unto you. So now we're going from servants to friends. You see? From servants to sons. Okay? 
because when you read this in the NLT, um, this is St. John 15 and 15, I no longer call you slaves because a master doesn't confine in his slaves. Now ye are my friends since I have told you everything the Father told me. But I got to lay him back. Cause that's heavy because a, a, a master, <coughs> a master ain't going to tell his slave nothing. Mm -hmm. If anything, he's going to withhold information from his slaves. Like, you, you're just a worker. Yeah. If you think about it, even in uh, Esau Edom's world, you know, you, you got these different uh, people that's over these uh, fortune, uh, how you say, uh, 500? Fortune, fortune 500. Companies. Yeah, Fortune 500 companies. Yeah. These top uh, uh, CEOs. The board of directors. Yeah, yeah. Man, the, the very people that's at the bottom, that the actual workers you see, they don't, they, they don't know the inner workings of what's going on. Exactly. You're not in those meetings. You know, you're not in those particular councils. But it's, it's different for us concerning our Lord Yahweh Shai. Even when you go back to when we was in what's called chattel slavery. Yeah. We was out there in the field picking cotton, tobacco, sugar cane, you name it. During that time, you know, we were without th this truth. You know, it was illegal for you to read the Bible. Mm -hmm. You know, if, if you was a so-called Negro, so-called West Indian, so-called Haitian, as well as the other tribes, you know, I'm speaking on the Southern Kingdom right now. If you were caught with the book of the law, you were put to death. Mm -hmm. You know? You just, you just need to be a slave, a, a good slave. You just do what, what I want you to do, and that's it. Mm -hmm. But it's different with Yahweh Shai. We know the secrets. And um, being a servant, um, that's also the Lord going to um, how our people were basically is subject to the law. Mm -hmm. You know, they, 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 they more so magnified the law above salvation, above the Messiah. Because, see, the, the law itself is not going to get you on the chariot. And, and it's a cut on you guys that made this thing all about keeping the law. Which we 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 care about the law. You think we don't care about the law? Mm -hmm. We in the Shabbat right now. If we had it our way, everything would be perfect. Mm -hmm. You know, but see, uh, us coming in the flesh, you know, these different cycles, you know, uh, coming to reincarnation, these were all trial runs until we would finally get it right in the end. Yeah. And we at that point now. Yeah, mm -hmm. you got it, bro. Yeah, because going back into it, he said he doesn't. Uh, uh, um, a master doesn't confine with his with his slaves. Yep. You see, you a slave doesn't see the whole big picture of what's going on. He just know his little task that he assigned with Kai. The law pretty much just gave us task to be assigned with Kai, bro. It didn't paint the whole picture of the mind of Yahweh Bashim Shai. So now Yahweh Shai is opening us up to the mind of the heavenly Father. Look, I'm gonna bring y'all in. You know, and let you know what's the intent, the overall intent of the Heavenly Father. And that's why it goes beyond the law, the 613 laws. Now we have an understanding that goes beyond that. And like the brother said, when we get in sovereignty, we're going to fully keep the law. See, mm -hmm. now we understand the why. <laughs> you know, we understand why this law was put here. You know, so let matter of fact, get that in on Psalms 65 and 4. And then we get that in Galatians to prove that point that you were just saying about the law. You know? So we're becoming sons. We're understanding why our father does what he does, man. You know? Go ahead. Psalm chapter 65, verse 4. Blessed is the man whom thou choosest and causest to approach unto thee. And causest to approach unto thee. God damn. You see that? Whom thou choosest. For you have shall I say, you haven't chosen me. But I have chosen you. Go ahead. That he may dwell in thy courts. Yep. We shall be satisfied with the goodness of thy house. Yep. That we may dwell in his courts. True. Because the king, yeah. when the son will become of age, then the king will allow his son to sit in and hear the counsel that he has within his courts. Okay? Because one day he's going to have to hold court. Okay, so as the son will mature to a certain point, the, the, the king will allow his son to come in and, 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 and see their interaction, how his father really gets down. Okay, when you when, when the prince is young, you know, he's being tutored. He doesn't really know the in and out of workings. He's being 
tutor, he's been, you know, um, conditioned to have skill sets. He's being educated on languages and different things, okay? But then when he gets a certain age, now the father takes him on, all right? Let him come to the courts and sit down. And now he's hearing discussions of war. He's hearing the discussions of finances. He's hearing the discussions of the agriculture. He's hearing discussions of expanding the empire, what this kingdom is doing, what that kingdom is doing. That's what we have now. Through prophecy, the spirit of Yahushua is what? Prophecy. We know what the kingdom of Russia is doing. <laughs> or the kingdom is Turkey and Iran is doing. We in the courts. So we understand, we go to Ezekiel 38, we in the courts, and that's the discussion of what these kingdoms are going to do. Yeah, that's a Yahweh Shai said he made all things known unto you. Yeah, yeah. You know, <laughs> we, you know, we'll say 100% truth, yeah. you know. I mean, but, but that's what it is. The Lord, Yahweh Shai, he's letting us in on the secrets, man. Yeah. You know, the plans of the Heavenly Father, his plans for us, the, his plans, you know, for the rest of humanity. You know, beginning with him upgrading Israel, yeah. you know, it's beginning with us, you know, but, you know, the, the rest of, uh, the people on, on the outside of this thing, you know, the other nations, his plans for them, his, his plans for the whole earth, mm -hmm. his plans for the universe. Yeah. That's what we're being opened up to, man. Yeah. You know, uh, you mean, yeah, it's more. That, it was no. the last precept. That was the end of the precept. It's a little bit more. Yeah, so, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, Psalms 60, um, excuse me. Psalm chapter 65, verse 4, uh, down to 5. I'm going to read verse 4 again. Yeah. Blessed is the man whom thou choosest and causes to approach unto thee, mm -hmm. that he may dwell in thy courts. Mm -hmm. We shall be satisfied with the goodness of thy house, even of thy holy temple. Mm -hmm. okay. Verse 5. By terrible things in righteousness wilt thou answer us, mm -hmm. O power of our salvation, who art the confidence of all the ends of the earth. Yeah, and, that, and, and see, our confidence is in our power because now we understand the inner workings. Mm -hmm. You see? You see, in the ends of the earth is here in America, man. Yeah, He's going to do terrible things in righteousness, man. Yeah, how is is coming to wage war in righteousness, man? You know? And that's another thing, like, like in the in the courts, you would hear what? War councils. When you read what Revelation said, Yahweh Shai is coming to what? Wage war in righteousness. Okay? The conquering horse that went forth to conquer. You know? This is all war. This is war council in here, man. We are in the courts. <laughs> you see? Uh, that was it on that. You get that in Galatians. You know? And that's why it's good, you know, to understand how nobility works because then you can understand the writings of the scriptures, man. You know? The book of Galatians chapter 4 verse 1 yep. now I say that the heir as long as he is a child a youth differs nothing from a servant differ nothing from a servant go ahead though he be lord of all though he be lord of all okay because he's born by birth he has an inheritance okay but while he's young he doesn't differ from a servant okay because he is an equipped to run an estate. He isn't equipped to run the province yet. He has to be schooled up. Yeah, he doesn't understand responsibility. Yeah. <laughs> you see? He, he, he doesn't differ from a servant. Go ahead. Verse 2. But it's under tutors and governors until the time appointed of the Father. Until the time appointed of the Father. Now, I, don't, I know Bridgerton been popular lately, but you see that dealing with the duke okay it, it flashed back when the duke was born okay and he was with that uh with one of the maids and she was teaching him how to read she was teaching him okay uh and then it showed uh when uh, uh some lady danbury came and she asked him she was like because he couldn't speak but she asked him she was like do you know how to ride horses he was like yeah you know how to fence, and he probably wasn't no more than seven. Okay, he was like, yeah, you know. So he was being in school, like he would spend an hour with the maid reading. Then he go spend some more time fencing. 
Then he'll go spend some more time learning how to ride horses. And then he get to a certain age, he'll learn how to hunt. Then he'll learn how to do this. And then he'll learn how to do that. And then at the appointed time, like the father already have it set. Well, look, when he turns 11, I want him with me. Yeah. But until then, I want y'all to train him in this, this, and this. But when he's 11, he going to come with me. Yeah. You see, you know what this is called, bro? Then yeah. Being elite. Yeah. That, everything the brother named, that's, that's basically elitism. Yeah. The heavenly father, he's, which, which, um, the word elite, that's when you get the word elect. But he's teaching us how to be elite. Yep. You know? Yeah. In every facet of life, basically. Yeah. You know? Just lay on that. Yeah. Hey, because, like you say, when you see Bridgerton, you see the Duke, you didn't see the father that much, you know, when he was a boy. Okay? Because when you're nobility, when you're heir, you're, you're, you're not spending a bunch of time with your son until he get to an appointed age. Then you really start dealing hands-on with him, man. You know what I'm saying? There was a good showing of that in Bridgerton. You see how hard he was on him, man. You know, because he knew that he was going to be responsible for a lot. So he had, like you say, he had to be on the elite level. He couldn't just be regular, man. Yeah, brother. Okay? Matter of fact, real quick, get there in Proverbs 8 and start like at 29. Still hold us on that? Yeah, we're going to finish that. We're going to go back to that, man. All right, Proverbs chapter 8 and verse 27. When he prepared the heavens, I was there. When he prepared the heavens, I was there. See, this is Yahweh Shah being with the heavenly father. Okay, go ahead. When he set a compass upon the face of the depth, when he established the clouds above, when he strengthened the foundations of the deep, when he gave to the sea his decree that the water should not pass his commandments. So the heavenly father is showing Yahweh Shah how to create. Man. You see, he's with his father. Okay? <laughs> he's a son. Go ahead. When he appointed the foundations of the earth, then I was by him as one brought up with him. I was by him as one brought up with him. Okay? He was with his father. Because you got to think, let's say you have brothers. Let's say the first son, the first son, is 10 years older, you know, than, than the rest of the um, rest of his brothers, okay? So for 10 years, his brothers didn't even exist. We didn't exist during this time. You see, it was just a heavenly, it was just a heavenly father and the firstborn, Yahweh Shai. So the, 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 the firstborn, all right, will be privy to things that the younger brother's not privy to because... The firstborn will spend the most time with the father because he is finna inherit everything that his father has. And, and he's responsible for the younger sons. Yes. You know? And you seen that on Bridgerton with Anthony. You know, the reason why he was so austere and so punctual because he had the most responsibility because he was the firstborn <laughs> son. Okay? <laughs> Go ahead. Verse 30, uh, Proverbs chapter 8, no, verse 30. Then I was by him as one brought up with him. Go ahead. And I was daily his delight. Go ahead. Rejoicing always before him. Mm -hmm. Rejoicing in the habitable part of his earth. Go ahead. And my delights were with the sons of men. And my delight were with the sons of men. And we eventually came on the scene. So now, Yahweh Shai. He's established, he, he came to establish their order back, man, to adopt us back in into their hierarchy, man. So let's get there in Galatians. All right, back in the book of Galatians, chapter 4, and verse 3. Yeah. Even so we, when we, we were sons, let's say it's children. Yep. All right. I'll read it how they have it. Yep, because children, you know, goes to the, the youth. Yep, bunny. Yep. yep. Which is sons, you know it. Even so, we, when we were children, were in bondage under the elements of the world. We was in bondage of the elements of the world going into the law. Go ahead. But when the fullness of the time was come, the heavenly father sent forth his son, made of a woman, made under the law. Made under the law. So it was a time appointed. Okay, now it's time for them to start 
being with us. <laughs> you see? Yeah. Now it's time for to bring them in on the yeah. business to really show them what the business is. Yeah. Okay. Thou, you know, thou should not kill. Thou should not have no other gods before me. Okay. Thou should remember the, the holy day. I mean, the Sabbath day. And keep it holy. Okay. Those are instructions. We was in bondage to that. Yeah. It's spirit too, man. Yeah. Uh, I can just add because yeah. um, actually, I want to say yesterday I listened to the brother um, uh, Moff. And he, and he was making a point on how basically, which Apostle Paul went into that too, when you deal with the law, these are regulations, you know, rules and regulations to, to keep you from basically being a deviant. Yeah. Because the Lord knows how he designed these bodies. Yeah. But, you know, you know, brother speaking on the Heavenly Father bringing us into the business, once we're changed, we're going to be made perfect. He's not going to have to say, well, don't do this, yeah. don't do that. Yeah. It's going to be a part of you, yeah. you know? Yeah. The reason why you got so much wickedness out here, you know, it's... You see why the Lord had to in, in, enforce the law, cause cause look at man without it. Yep. You know. Yeah. Cause if we was in bondage on the law right now, if we didn't have this grace, you know, it'd be a full time job to try not to break a law. Like yep. you would be overwhelmed. Like you couldn't. You wouldn't have time to watch current events. You wouldn't have time to get into the Hebrew. You wouldn't have time to get into prayer. All you would be overwhelmed with is not breaking the law, which means well, you would be a slave. Okay? We, we wouldn't be focused on doing the work of the yeah, Lord. Yeah, we wouldn't be focused on prophecy, man. Yeah. We wouldn't be pushing faith. Nah, the, 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 the how shy, okay? Now, look, I'm going to take that lick for the, the consequence of the law. I'm going to take, I'm going I'm to absorb the Lord's anger to create a grace period to now where well, y'all can become sons. Because, see, once you understand the why of the laws, then by default, like, uh, 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 I was watching a movie, I think not without my daughter. It was an Iranian, um, it was an Iranian doctor who married a woman in the West. He was over in America. Okay. But he brought her back to Iran and, um, uh, she had to wear the ancient garments. <laughs> yeah, she was pissed. Yeah, 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 break her in. Yeah, yeah. But like when them women seen her with her head, uh, hair showing and shit, they went crazy. And see now, like if we watched it, uh, 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 before we came into the truth and before we matured, we were like, yeah. damn, they doing too much. But then, now that we see what, uh, uh. uh now we see what um, society looks like without the law. We see why they serious like that. Yeah, 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 we get it. Yeah, we get it. Yeah, like they were dead. Like they were going crazy when they seen her without her head covered. Like they went ballistic. You see, but now I seen that little scene. It makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like okay, because now we see what it breeds. Because now what? What? You, look at what you got. Yeah, because this, this, this thought culture ain't it, man. Yeah. You know, I remember around, maybe, maybe this is like 2010 or 2009. It was around, you know, when I was first coming in. I talked to this one, Keisha, and we'd be calling Eve Keisha, you know. And this, that's when I was in Illinois. Man, this motherfucker said I'm the most religious man she ever met. Like, during that time, I'm getting myself together, but basically... She she said that based off the premise I just wouldn't eat bacon yeah, on a yeah. on a sandwich yeah you know but it just show you like America really messed Jake up yeah you know what I'm saying like the, the Jake man the Jake woman you know but when you look at us um like like bro you made the point when you look at us you you're before and after in the truth bro like you look at old photos of yourself you you do that like you know when you was out here in the world you and you look at you now bro but that that them two different people. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But see, this this is that threat to uh, Edomite supremacy, man. Because mm -hmm. he don't care nothing about us when we was niggas. And we, you know, doing what they want us to do. Mm -hmm. But see, this is well pleasing to the Father. Mm -hmm. You know? But I'll go back to it for you, bro. Yeah, you um, back, back in Galatians chapter 4 and verse 3 again. Even so we, when we were children, were in bondage under the elements of the world. But when the fullness of the time was come, the Heavenly Father sent forth his son, made of a woman, made under the law, 
to redeem them that were under the law, that we might receive the adoption of sons. That we may receive the adoption of sons. He redeemed us from under the consequence of the law, okay? Which he didn't abolish the law, but he created some slack for us to be able to grow and to become his sons and joint heirs. Yeah. Okay? Because then he knew we was going to be in captivity as well. Like the law is created for sovereignty. That's why it says, when I give you the land that I promised to your father, keep these laws, statutes, and commandments. We're not sovereign right now. There's there's laws that's impossible to keep. But see, now we're developing the mind. Now we start to think like the father through Yahweh Shah, because Yahweh Shah thinks exactly like the father. <laughs> you see? Yeah, so <laughs> basically by the Lord doing what he did, he was farsighted. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And then when you read this part of... Uh, not to get off topic, but just making yeah, a point bro. real quick. What says made of a woman made under the law, that's not saying that he was born to a virgin birth. No. You know, basically the Lord had a normal birth just like us. Yeah. You know, in order to come on this earth, you know, your your parents, to produce the body that you're going to be in, your parents, they have that union that's called sex. Mm -hmm. You know, that's all they're saying, man. But it ain't no damn immaculate uh, conception, okay? But if he was born under the law... <clears throat> that means C had to be conceived. Yep. That's why he had to go to a purification. Yeah, because yeah, that's mentioned too in Luke. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> so to let you know, he was born under the law like everyone else. Yeah. You know? That he might be, be, be that faithful and high priest, mm -hmm. man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Let me get, you get that right? Proverbs 17 and 2. Okay. See, we, we, uh, that's, that's why you got to understand the inner workings of rulership, of nobility, of houses, how they work. Rank, order, titles, you know? Go ahead. The book of Proverbs chapter 17, verse 2. A wise servant shall have rule over a son that cause of shame. A wise servant shall have rule over a son that cause shame. Go ahead. And shall have part of the inheritance among the brethren. And shall have part of the inheritance Man. among the brethren. You see, because the servant, all right, a wise servant, it will be what showing himself more capable, okay, of of, of running an inheritance than than the than the, uh, than the shameful son. That's how the ancient world worked. So we became all right, a uh, 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 wise servants, and now we've been brought back into the inheritance with the brethren. <laughs> you see, let's get that in uh, Matthew twenty four and forty five. Gospel for the same Matthew chapter 24, verse 45. And it reads, Who then is a faithful and wise servant? Who is a faithful and wise servant? They were a wise servant. Go ahead. Whom his Lord have made ruler over his household. Yeah, so who's the household, man? The congregation. The house of David, the elect. And the scripture say, the spirit have made us overseers. <laughs> you see? Go ahead. To give them meat in due season. Yep, the meat is what? This doctrine, man. Okay? Because if you was a uh, steward over a house, when the Lord goes away, which your house shines in the spiritual realm now, and he has tasked men to be stewards over his house. Okay? And the steward will ration out the food to the men's servants and the women's servants. Okay? He would, he would, he would you know, ration out, you know, task. Okay? He will, he will ration out the, the labor and the work, and he will also be over the revenue of what was coming in. He will pretty much manage the Lord's house until the Lord came back. Okay, go ahead. If I can uh, lamb back, also um, meet in due season. The scripture speak about the knowledge of this, uh, the knowledge of the, the knowledge of wisdom bringing to a kingdom. So eventually, what we're doing. It's going to manifest into what we desire as well, Come on. you know, because, yeah. you know, um, you, you're, you're working for this. It's, it, we're not just here doing this. You know, we're doing this for a payoff. You yeah. know, Lord willing, we'll receive the kingdom of heaven. Yeah. But um, verse 46, blessed is that servant whom his Lord, when he cometh, shall find so doing. He's occupied, man, and running the affairs. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, 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 someone that you know, was an heir, we have to prove himself, okay? We're This is our proving ground to prove 
They, hey, we want to be sons. We want to be heirs. Okay, go ahead. Verily I say unto you, that he shall make him ruler over all his goods. Go ahead. But and if that's, that evil servant shall say in his heart, my Lord, the layoff is coming. Yep. And shall begin to smite his fellow servants and to eat and drink with the drunken. Yeah, so you got the responsible servant and the irresponsible. The, the, those that are, are deemed responsible, the Lord is going to make them rules over everything he has, man. And Yahweh has everything. Yep. Okay? Yep. And the irresponsible are those that go back into the world, man. Mm -hmm. You know, these, these describing the attributes of men that go back into the world. But as well as those that um they call themselves still being teachers and leaders amongst Israel, but they're lying to their congregation. Because you're you really abusing them. Yep. In the spirit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, be yep. you you're abusing them with false doctrine. With false doctrine. <laughs> you see? Because you're setting them up for failure. Yep. You know? Go ahead. The Lord of that servant shall come in a day when he looketh not for him. Yeah, because if you're caught up. Because pretty much the Lord is gone, so now you're just wilding out, you know, with the substance that the Lord has left for you to take care of his house, man. You know, and this this word, he left us his word to take care and manage his house efficiently to Yeah, yeah, brother. You see, you, yeah. you, you can have this substance because there's men that go into breakdowns and no precepts. But what they're doing, they're big in their own platform. They're abusing you know, the substance, they just wasting everything, you know. But it, this got to be the spirit, because the beloved Apostle Bar, he just, you know, did a lesson on how, um, you know, we're not in this thing to be celebrities, man. Yeah. When you look at these, that's the spirit you said that. Yeah. When you look at these different leaders in these congregations within Israel, it, it's all about them. Yeah. You know, it's all about their name. You know, they, they negate the names, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, you know, and, um, and they speak evil of their fellow uh, Israelites, yeah. you know, because to be honest, only reason we'll bring them cats up if it's in a negative light is concerning what they teach. Yeah. It's never anything personal. But see, yeah. with us, we this, we that. You know, you, you hear the slander, you hear these particular things, yeah. and that's fine, you know. But for you sincere men and women out there, you have to see this for what it is. Yeah. You know, the, the, these men that do that, they're considered e evil and unfaithful uh, servants. Yeah. They you put know? themselves in the stead of your house shot. Yep. They acting like as if they're the lord of the house. Imagine the Lord come back and you got, you know, you drinking out his cup, got his slippers on, you know, sitting in his chair, you know, with his robe. You're like, God damn. Nigga, you comfortable, ain't eh? That what Jay doing in the spirit? Yes. Shit. Yes. <laughs> you know? That what you want, you know? <laughs> Go ahead. All right. Uh, back in Matthew chapter 24 and verse 50. The Lord of that servant shall come in a day when he looketh not for him. Yeah, because you so occupied in, in pretending to be that Lord, you know, that you forget that that Lord got to come back, you know. And then especially going a long time, you for sure get carried away. That's why you see Jake just getting carried away with yeah. this shit now. Yeah, brother. You know, go ahead. And in an hour that he is not aware of. Yeah, and this is the time we in now. But see, we're focused on being... Those good servants, yeah. those wise and faithful servants, man. Okay? Who are showing themselves worthy to be sons and joint heirs, man. You know? That was it on that. Okay, kind. Uh, let's get that Romans 8 and 13. The book of Romans chapter 8, verse 13. For if we live after the flesh, ye shall die. But if ye through the spirit... Do mortify the deeds of the body, ye shall live. Ye shall live. Okay, so go ahead. For as many as are led by the Spirit of the Heavenly Father, they are the sons of the Heavenly they Father. They are the sons being led by the Spirit. You see, now we understand the spiritual overtone of the Scriptures. Even when we go into the law, we go into the Passover land, like we understand the spiritual overtone of these things, man. Now we're walking in the Spirit of Yahweh by Shem Shai. Okay? We love the law. Okay, we can't wait till the law is enforced, man. We can't wait till certain people are allowed to be burnt and stoned. We can't wait. Yep. And when, when people, and people they get shook up by that, they don't understand the mind of the Heavenly Father. You know, like, oh, it's like. 
Because look at look at this society without that. You know, look look what is bread. And then you got to think about how how Edom's mindset has corrupted the whole world, and 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 the target now is the youth. So you're gonna have little boys and little girls growing up thinking it's okay to get their uh their gender yeah. change, and yeah. that's what we at with it now. Yeah. So that's why you got laws where that, that judgment will be so horrific, yeah. so it'll scare the shit out of everybody else. Like now you know not to do that. Yeah. Because look at this society without that. Yeah. You know, yeah. Bobby want to be Susie. Yeah, you know what I'm saying because he like the way how he'll sound. You know, and, and, and then the, the parents are bugged out. Yeah, and even hey, check this out. As, as mad as we are, which we we highly upset about it because the Most High is high, highly upset about it. But you even got patriotic Edomites on podcasts. They got a problem with this shit. You know, <laughs> he's red blooded. You know, won't Trump back in office? Edomites. You know, they upset. Just because Lil Bobby heard his mom heels make a certain clicking sound, maybe he just like the sound of the shoes. It doesn't mean that his mom just say that, well, he should be a girl now. You know? So you got laws in place like that to keep structure in the earth, man. Mm -hmm. To keep that, that balance, you know? Mm -hmm. And like it says, those are in the spirit are the sons of the yep. spirit. In the spirit. In that spirit, like we fully get it. Like we understand why America got to be. Destroyed. Yep, completely. Cause, yeah, because now we're starting to think like the father and the son. Because we're hanging in the courts. <laughs> you yep. see? Go ahead. Verse 15. Romans chapter 8, verse 15. For ye have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear. Yeah, we haven't received the spirit of bondage again to fear. Go ahead. But ye have received the spirit of adoption. Mm -hmm. Whereby... We cry, Abba, Father. Yeah, so we receive the spirit of adoption of being brought back into the inheritance, man. And as sons, okay, you're going to be privy to information that no one else has, man. Okay? And that's the mystery of the scriptures. Go ahead. Verse 16. The spirit itself bears witness with our spirit that we are the sons of the heavenly Father. The spirit itself bears witness, man. Okay? So our spirit is within us. All right, bear witness with, this, with, the, with the spirit that's in the Bible, the spirit of the Bible, man, and who we are. This is why brothers go so hard in the ministry because our spirit bear witness with the, the with these scriptures. Okay, now we the sons. You see, that's why we all about our father's business. Yeah. You see, go ahead. And if sons, then heirs. If sons, then heirs. Ooh. Go ahead. Heirs of the heavenly father yep. and joint heirs with Yahweh Shai. And joint heirs with Yahweh Shai. Because we're walking in the spirit of them now. You see, the law had us in bondage to what we really mm -hmm. couldn't get into the spirit of the of the bigger picture of everything that's going on. Because we was in this flesh to where it was always a fight to try to keep it. That's why the, the, the new covenant is based on what? Better promises. For finding fault with yep. them. With them, yeah. Because the see? problem is this flesh. Yeah. You know? So once we change from the flesh, okay, we already have the mind of the Heavenly Father. You see, He's going to fix this, this sinful flesh. We're going to shed this sinful flesh, okay? But we already have a mindset of what the Heavenly Father wants in the earth, man. Okay? Um, Let's get that in. Uh, Hebrews 2 and 9, man. 2 and 9, verse 10. Let's begin, bro. The, the book of Hebrews, chapter 2, and verse 9 down to 10. Exhort servants to be obedient unto their own masters. The Hebrews. It's so like my bad. <laughs> yeah, man. It's a goddamn plantation. It's a lot, bro. Hebrews chapter two, verse nine. But we see Yahweh was shy, who was made a little lower than the angels for the suffering of death. Yeah, so Yahweh shy had to come down here. You know, he made a little lower than angels, which means he came in the flesh, man. Mm -hmm. All right, because these mortal bodies are on a lower frequency than 
those celestial beings, the angels, man. You know, so he had to be downgraded, you know, to come down here and maneuver with us in the flesh, man, to show us what the heavenly father required of us in the earth, man. Go ahead. Crowned with glory and honor. Go ahead. That by the grace, that he by the grace of the heavenly father should taste death for every man. He shall taste death for every man. Okay? He took the wrath of the Heavenly Father and absorbed it in himself. Okay? It was created a grace period for us to become sons. It's going to go on too. Go ahead. For it became him. For whom are all things. Yep. And by whom are all things. Yep. And bringing many sons unto glory. And bringing many sons unto glory. You see, like you say, he was farsighted. Like they need a grace period to be able to be groomed into what we want. The, the, the heavy part about it, like, you know, we, we go through time to time in the spirit. Like you you read Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, Yahweh Shah saw all this. Yeah. Ultimately, he knew we would be in America and he yeah. knew it would be impossible to keep all the laws, statutes, and commandments. Yeah. Now, we do what we do to the best of our ability, yeah. but like Brother had made the point, if our focal point was all about the law, we wouldn't have time to really get into prophecy because this major thing is happening on earth and it's getting ready to happen, Yeah, you know? But like the Brother had said, you know, us doing what the Heavenly Father requires, man, because it, it's, it's some high standards and, and top qualities we need, you know, hey, to get on the chariot. You talking about that? You know? But um read this for you again. Hebrews 2 and uh 10. For it became him for whom are all things, and by whom are all things, mm -hmm. and bringing many sons unto glory to make the captain of their salvation perfect through suffering. So Yahweh Shah became perfect through what? Suffering. How we're gonna be perfected as Yahweh Shah? Suffering. We gotta drink of that same cup. Okay, but in order for us to even be in this position, like the brother going into, you see, how Shah made it doable. Okay, if it, it, like I say, if it was the law still established, we were serving to the law because we will only be occupied not breaking laws. Okay, but now with that, uh, with the grace period, without that burden and that bondage of the consequence of the law hanging over us, man, we really get to go into the depths of the of the of the wisdom of the heavenly father man you know and now we're being developed into what sons and heirs joint heirs man okay and we, we can't imagine the magnitude of being an extension of your how about on the earth <laughs> that's far bigger than what you, you could ever imagine anything to be yep you know Standing stiffly for the name of the Lord, you know, from now up until when you're delivered, you know, and it's been a spirit that's been out, you know, just listen to, you know, different brothers, you know, um, you know, we spoke about it down here, you know, recently, you know, you know, the spirit brings it up, you know, but watching video with Elder Ariala, basically, we got to focus on making sure that we have ourselves together before the Lord comes. It's easy to get, you know, moved by the wickedness of the society, you know, you, you see particular things that may vex you and immediately you like, man, like we just got to get out of here, which we do got to get out of here. But we also know this truth is a patience thing. You know, scripture speak about not making haste in time of trouble, you know, uh, something that the, uh, the elder brother, uh, Yashima down here, he made a point, you know, not too long ago on the line, basically he spoke about how, you know, um, we not waiting on the Lord, the Lord waiting on us. Which, you know, you got to see what the brother means because we are waiting on the Lord. You know, we, we are waiting for the Lord to come back. But basically, the Lord, he wants us to come on a level as sons, like the brother was getting into in his lesson. You know, we got to come up on a level before we're ready. You know? You think about, you know, brother got the world map in front of us. The Lord about to give us all this, and we eventually going to branch out to where you, you have all that that's out here. We got to be ready for that. That's why we getting built up through uh, challenges, you know, sufferings, you know? Sometimes you go through some shit, it, 
it's like, man, you can't put it in the words, but 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 ultimately we gotta gird up, you know. God, you know, I was watching different videos by uh, you know men in the manosphere on YouTube, and they were speaking about basically what makes a man a man, and it went back to the scripture, the brother, you know, that that he wanted, mm -hmm. basically suffering mm -hmm. and overcoming challenges, and you know, and you do different things other people not comfortable doing. Like, you know, he brought up a point. It made me think about our lesson we did on uh, David and Goliath. Mm -hmm. Basically, because not to say you don't have anxiety at times or uh, uh, you don't have fear. But what, what, what makes you a man, you overcome that shit. Like, through it. You're like, you know, it's going to be there. But that's why it's called courage. You know, just d different things. Like, the Lord wants us to do overcoming ourselves, man. Mm -hmm. You know? But, um... That's still on there, bro. Let's yeah. you add something else. Yeah. Yes, you know? Yeah. But yeah, with that, we pray. I hope y'all was, uh, you know, edified, you know? That's the word in the spirit. You know what I'm saying? Um, we all got to come up on a level, and we all still growing, you know? You know what I'm saying? So, uh, you know, with that, we, we want to give all praises to Yahweh, by Shem Yahushai, by Shem Kakadash, double honor to our elder apostles and elder bishops, great millstone, still well. Peace, best of your leg. Shalom. Shalom.